All right, guys. What's up? This is Gold McNugget, and it's March 9th, and we're out here on the Sturt Road riding the pocket ATV, and I was wanting to talk about all the things I've done to it since the last video I've had. So, we've got a new clutch bell, and the carburetor actually broke again for the third time. We put this tip on here, we cut that little thing off that was in there, and we put this tip on there, and it was silver, and we painted it black. I painted the tires with a paint the pen lettering. all the way around, the lettering, yep. And Sadly, it has another chain on it, because the chain has to look at this one. And we got a new brake caliper, because that other one was a piece of shit. Yep. It's a little loose, I'll just have to when I get home, but... And, and I you think, know, uh, we rebuilt the top end since that video a long time ago. When I updated it, we rebuilt the top end, and really, as far as I can remember right now, that's pretty much it, and it runs a lot better, so he's going to show you right now, he's going to start and ride it, and then he'll switch it off to me. It is a little slower than before because of the different bell housing, different gear size, so like, think like 23, 24, it's like 20 now, who cares, it's a lot more solid, honestly now, before it took forever to go top And speed. it's warm right now, we just warmed it up so we could show the full power effect, because it ain't very powerful when it's just cold. It's got a. Uh, it's got a 40 to 1 oil mix in it, so. It moves pretty good. It used to go 23 at top end, and now it goes 20 because the new bell housing gear, like he said. He's gonna ride it. I'm sure that wasn't cow shit. You never know out here. Right there is top speed. Sorry for the shakiness. Thing vibrates a lot, so when you get off of it, you're kind of shaky. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That he almost hit me. That was scary. <laughs> Hey, watch out, there's mud right here. Go on this side. And if you get, uh, there's a bill housing you can get that has a seven tooth gear, and that will push it to around, I think, I think it's like 27 or 28, and if you're, I guess if you're really light, 30 on that, I'm good. 20, 20's fine. It could definitely be faster, but I don't know. It's really stable. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could do that, but I think the motor, even though we rebuilt it, probably would have a hard time moving you. It'd be fine, but you might wear out the motor kind of fast if you're going full throttle a lot. Get down here again. <laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome. I want 
you do fart on me. Alright. That's fun. Do you hear what the noise is making? What? Okay, guys, so when I hold the throttle down for a long time, it kind of like wants to bog out. So I don't know if it's running too rich yeah, high end or lean. But you have to get like the, uh, the throttle in the right area and it'll freaking fly, man. It's hard to explain, like, if you hit the throttle way too hard, it bogs out and goes slower. And if you let it off a little bit, it goes really fast for some reason. Yeah, it's hard to say if it's running too lean or not because it sounds like it's bogging so I'm not sure it's probably running a little too rich Did she do that to you? Huh? Did she do that to you with the football? Yeah, well, I'm all up a little bit. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it doing that. Bye-bye. guys that's it subscribe thanks for watching and don't forget to like